In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Welcome back everyone, it is day 13, I think, I never know what day it is. Yes, it's day number 13, woo, 13, big 13, the one three, one three. Today we are going to get our smithing level as high as we can. Pretty simple, we had a very good day yesterday, smashing out various different little quests. We're only going to do a couple today, but they are going to be very nice, so... Let's just get ourselves some birdhouse runs while we are stood right here. Sold a few things too. Oh, I didn't bring my magic potions. 3300 there. One more level tour at the teak birdhouses. Probably the next run. Assuming we can actually make them. I don't know if we have the crafting level. Okay, gonna go to the GE, get some stuff for this quest. Will help with the crafting level as well. Do some more stands. We don't have a lot of money right now. That makes sense. Is there anything we can sell here? Some bits and pieces. Okay, 260k is not bad. Got some more stuff together. I'll actually just get some teak logs as well. Can we make teak birdhouses? Yes, we can, just. And I'm also gonna get a shit ton of iron bars. As many as I can afford, basically. Alright, we are going to do Elemental Workshop first. We need enemy, we need combat gear for a dweeb, which I think is a pickaxe. You need, you might not need a pickaxe, but that's what we're taking. We got our Berserkery. Yeah, yeah, calm. Where, where should we get our blessed? Yep, look at us, we're armed and dangerous. I don't need that. Why is that in the bank? Why is that in the bank? Get all this useless shit out of your bank, James. Yo, I totally forgot I bought those myth picks to Alk. Alright, come along. There we go, Elemental Workshop 1 is done. That is 38 crafting, 34 smithing. We are going to move straight on to Sleeping Giants. I don't know if we can use the minigame teleport. We can! Perfect. Okay, so we don't need the book or the shield. And I don't think we need this shit right now. Just get the quest stuff. Okay. First part done. Oh, I don't have invent space. Right, let's just dump the invent for now. And to be honest, we don't want our shit on either. It'll decrease our run energy. All right. All right, I'm gonna need a bucket for water now. Also, where's Scurry at? I must have put him away. Oh, it was when I was doing the, uh, the dwarf thing on it. I couldn't take him in the uh, passageway, the underground tunnel thing. Alright, our first sword. Oh wow, there's no bad zones. Now, I wasn't planning to, but I think I'm actually going to do the second elemental workshop as well. Just seems silly not to. It is kind of an annoying quest. I, I don't enjoy it at all, but what quest do I enjoy? Really? There we go, 6,000 smithing XP. 37 smithing, we now have access to the giant's foundry for whatever that's worth. We are gonna go do Elemental Workshop 2. 7.5k smithing XP, it's kinda hard not to. 
Why do we need a dig site? I don't know why we need a dig site, but I'll take it. We need some coal, so let's get a ring of wealth. Let's get some stam, energy, magic potions, room pouch, lava bottle staff. All right, I'm not gonna bother with the armor because we don't really need it and it'll weigh us down. Oh, we did not get our alks. Hopefully we don't need too much invent space. We still didn't get any iron. That's kind of annoying. We'll have to worry about that later though. Oh, so we have to go straight to the dig site, that's why we need a dig site pendant. Tell you one thing, the animation for high level alchemy seems a lot smoother than low level. Like it doesn't do that weird stuttery thing that it was doing a lot of the time before. Alright, back to the workshop. Um, I feel like I need more of these, do Two earth elementals. Let's just do another one while we're here. Got to come back then. Why does it say I can't reach that? There goes my uh, high alks. Dollar 36 magic. I have to reset that one at the jewel arena. There we go. Oh my gosh. Is my escape key broken again? What the fuck is going on? Pause in logging out. Try log in. Now works. So if it breaks, I just have to log out and in. Okay. Because the Grand Exchange, we are going to just try buying some iron bars, because that's what I want to do, just make iron bars right now into uh, play buddies. So let's see if we can't just get some. How many do we actually need to get to 50? 527 times 5, that is a lot of iron. That is a, a lot of iron. Is there a better way? I don't feel like there is. We make steel war hammers. How much are steel bars? They might be even better price than iron, that's all I'm thinking. Although they're bad. Alright, fuck it, let's just get 300. So, to be fair, we could low alk these. That's probably not the worst. Because then it's an even amount of invent spots that we have. Makes sense in my head. Yeah, it's pretty quick to low alk those as well. In the time it takes to run back to the bank. The goal here is 50 smithing. That's the goal overall for the account for this challenge, but it's also the quest requirement for Between a Rock, which will get some mining XP and save us a bunch of mining. Classic RuneScape investment fallacy taking over here, because I don't want to do mining. I'd rather do smithing. Uh, we have to do them both anyway, so may as well do the smith and use it to get a quest on that will give us extra mining. That's basically where we're at. And there's level 40, very nice. 48 is the plate bodies, so we're still a while away from those. Steel plate bodies, that was. If you're wondering why I'm prioritising mining and smithing first, because those are two of the large requirements for Heroes Quest. We'll also be going for fishing as part of that. If we can get Heroes Quest done early, it will give us a small boost to a variety of different skills and experience reward. And it will also open up Miscellanea, which could be another way of passively generating some income on the account. A thing that we are very much a fan of, given the fact that we only get an hour locked in a day. Anything that happens over the course of a day, like farming or uh, birdhouses or miscellanea, is of more value to us because it happens when we aren't actively playing. So yeah, the quicker I can get miscellanea online, the better, even if I don't have much in the 
pot. It'll still give me a little bit of something for free. Well, not for free, but it'll make us money. These iron bars have just evaporated though. I'm gonna need to get some more very soon. There's 41. Also, doing Heroes Quest gives us the Ice Gloves, which uh, we need for freeing the Mon and Dwarf, and it's just generally nice to have them so on an account. Makes a variety of random different little activities easier. Do we have a Wealth on? No, I'm going to have to run back to the GE. Okay, so we want basically as many as we can afford. Actually, going to reset. Okay, Iron Bars. Varrock Telly. Bird House is done in 10 minutes. I think it'd actually be worth it to High Alk instead. Not for the profit, just for the XP. Though it is a few ticks slower. 42 Smithen. Yeah, I'm not actually sure about the High Alk because I end up having to stand at the bank for a few more seconds while I finish my Alking rather than. Just having one left by the time I get to the bank, which is what it has been. So when this boost runs out, I'm just going to go back to the low, which is now. Oh my god, what is wrong with my headphones? My headphones, my keyboard, my scroll wheel. Everything's breaking. You'd think I had some crummy ass setup, but I don't. It's supposed to be good. Where's Scurry gone? Always worries me when he disappears. Fix your game, Jagex. That's 43. Oh my gosh, my headphones keep just disappearing. Maybe it's the USB connection, not the actual appliances. We're losing a lot of money on these play bodies. But this is why we went to LMS the other day. So that we have money for training methods that we need to spend it on. Stuff like smithing, cooking, herb lore even. There's no getting around it. You just gotta pay up. Not if you don't have the benefit of time on your side anyway. If you have time, you can go get the resources, obviously, but... Hey, oops. We got a quiz. I mean, last time he gave us a, a key half, so it was like 10k. We are kind of flat broke at the minute, so... Let's see what he's got to say. Got a bit of mystery box. A casket? We can put that on the GE for 1k. Or we can open it for a sapphire that we don't care about. At the end of the day, 1k is just 1k. There is 44. I need to do 44 more plate bodies. 44 times 5 is a lot. I don't, I don't even know if we have enough left there. I want to get good my birdhouses as well. Just see if we can get one more level squeezed out potentially. I'm not sure. There's five and a half minutes. Six minutes left. Cutting it close to do a birdhouse run. We'll see. Like I say, I might not even have the bars. Lovely stuff. There is the 45. I'm actually just going to run over to the museum because I can't remember if we have anything to claim from the information clerk. I don't think we do, but it'll only take a second to check. So, And there's a magic level. 54. No. Okay. So let's reset our run energy. Only one level away from actually being able to cast high level alchemy now, which is very nice. We'll have to keep carrying those magic potions around and worrying about boosts and shit. Let's go ahead and get our magic potions anyway, and some logs of the... Ooh, we're still a little bit away from that next hunt or level. Two actions, yeah, we can do it. And we want our jab heads as well. Ooh, this is going to be tight. Oh no, I didn't get my clockwork. It's okay. It just means I can't make them on the way. And there we go. Our first teak birdhouse down. There's another one. I don't know if we're going to get them all done. We're not. Oh, that's it, folks. That is it. The last birdhouse remains uncollected for now. It's an awkward spot to start in as well, so I'm going to leave myself exactly where I'm standing because... Having this invent at, like, the start of the day will be annoying as fuck, which uh, I'll hate, but it'll probably make for good footage. What have we done today? Now, I said we were going to be focused on smithing, and we have. We gained 45,000 smithing XP today. That is kind of nutty. 
We also managed to get 13k magic alongside it and 13k crafting. So not bad at all. Crafting up to 40 from its previous 36. Smithing up to 45 from its previous 32. And magic just up the one level today. We got done. Sleeping Giants and Elemental Workshop 1 and 2, which was extra. I wasn't planning to do number 2, so it actually means I can cut a quest point somewhere out of my list of quests to do, because I got an extra one there. So, we're 1 over now, which is nice. That's good, that means we can cut out something that we didn't really want to do anyway. Yeah, pretty solid day all round. We're very close now or close in the level front at least, to the 50 smithing that we're after. We need 40k more, so it should be achievable tomorrow, no problem. And maybe we'll even get to the next quest as well, uh, between a rock. Yeah, solid, solid day. Hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like on the video, it helps out a ton. Leave a comment down below as well. Let me know which part of the grind for this account you would leave till the last minute. Because you hate it. Because for me, I'm pushing mining until I've got my smith in, because, yeah. Fuck mining. And subscribe to the channel so you see all the new videos. Valamore, one hour limit locked, we've got it all going on here. Hope you all enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it, because it's been a blast. Until next time, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.